Hi guys and welcome to another video by Blissful Techno Health. Um, today we're just going to have a short video here for you that is um, a quick tutorial, a quick how-to on using the Microsoft Office um, online, the cloud-based version. Um, it is not as fully robust as Office 365 or like Office 2016, but uh, for free it's pretty sweet. Um, so we're going to show you how to use that today. Um, first thing you need to do is have a Microsoft account um, to log in with. Uh, go to Outlook.com. If you have an account already, sweet, log in. If you don't, create one. Huzzah, right there. I'm going to use my account that I use for my training videos. Okay. Whoop. and uh, show you how to, how to use this. So Outlook.com pulls up your free uh, email that's been provided since uh, the beginning of time when it was Hotmail.com. Um, I've had a Hotmail.com for 18 years. Um, so that's how long Hotmail's been around and, and even longer than that. Um, so log into your uh, Outlook.com account, your Microsoft account, whatever it is that you're using. Um, like I said, if you don't have one, create one. Opens up our Outlook web app, okay? And all we can see here is our mail. But uh, pretty sweet. So in the mail, um, on the top left, you'll see here we have this, uh, I don't know what you call this icon. There's probably a name for it, but I don't know what it is. These little blocks here. And that shows us the different apps that are available to us, or to you, per se, um, to use for free. I mean, so you have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, all the Office standard products. Okay, there are some drawbacks to these, but like I said, for free, they're they're pretty awesome. Um, you can also go purchase the full version of Office if you like, um, which is like a yearly subscription for the Office 365. But uh, let's take a look at a couple things. You got your calendar. Okay, um, you can see it's a calendar, October 2016. You know, I can create events and whatnot if I want to on specific days and this is a test event okay let's save this event check it out hey look Thursday we got an event oh yeah that's right I got that so you've got different calendars here um, to work with um, here's the United States holidays, calendar, birthdays. You can see it's opening up in tabs along the top here. You can see your different calendars. Um, they're all kind of working together. So you can close those down. Um, you can create new calendars, okay, that you might want to use just to share with somebody. So if I right click on the calendar, I can click on share calendar and uh, send a, uh, type in their email and share that, okay. That can be really nice, especially in like a workplace. They use this a lot in Office 365 and, and with Outlook and whatnot. But so you got calendars here. Okay, that's just a quick rundown. I presume that you guys know how to use a lot of these features. I'm just showing you the quick, um, like I said, rundown of how all this works. So you're logged in. We can jump between mail. I can go back to mail. Oh yeah, ha da da da. Let's say I want to use Word. Okay, it opens up a new tab, and. Uh, um, do a lot of different things, just like I was using Word. Okay, you can just do like a new blank document. Their server's been really slow today. While that's loading, we'll take a look. So we've got Word over there. Um, we've got Excel. We can open up Excel. We can open up. Whoops, I didn't mean to click that. That was Google Apps. Okay. We've got, let's open up a few of these things. PowerPoint. Okay, so back to our Word tab up here. Um, you can get the extension for Chrome. I would probably recommend just uh, adding it if you're going to use this much. Um, we're not going to go into using the extension though. Um, so let's refresh this. On their slow server today. Word Online, check it out. So, um, 
yeah, you can type up a document. Anything you want. You got all your features up here. Uh, you can insert pictures, tables, and things and whatnot. You go through your page layout just like if you were in Word. Um, the peculiar thing is when you save this, um, it saves it to OneDrive generally is the default. Um, OneDrive is like Dropbox. It's like your cloud storage, like a hard drive out in the cloud for you. And they give you a certain amount of storage for free. Um, I'm not quite sure how much that is. Let's take a look. How much free storage OneDrive? Okay, so they're dropping it from 15 to 5 gigs and offer $2 per month for 50 gigs, paid plan instead of this earlier. So they're dropping it to 5 for 50. 50, that's a lot. I'm surprised they're giving this that much. Anyways, so you have your storage. Um, you can download the OneDrive folder and so you can access things from here as well within Windows, as you can see here. Uh, to download that on your computer if you don't have it, you can just type in Google download OneDrive for Windows and there you are, okay, click on that. But OneDrive can be nice because you can collaborate um, with other people. You can pull up OneDrive by clicking on the uh, apps bar up here, that little button that I don't know what to call. Click on OneDrive. Sorry, I'm jumping around a lot. But uh, you can see save. You can download a copy to your computer as well. And there's multiple ways to do that. But um, so you can do that. Um, so that's kind of a quick rundown on Word. Now, let's get my brain in order here. I was over here. Oh yeah, my brain's still in OneDrive. So. Um, you've got different things here, um, different folders, kind of like a file explorer here in the web browser. Um, here's a document that we have saved, which should be our test document right here, okay? And that all saves in real time. So I can go test document, blah, 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 and look at that, saving up here at the top. It's constantly saving every change I make. So I don't have to go to file save, file save, and worry about losing my work. Pretty awesome. Um, so now it's saved to OneDrive. It's already updated those changes. So you can see that it made it over here. And it says who made the change? Zed Hooter. So if you share a document with somebody else in your OneDrive, um, you can uh, make um, edits to it and it tells you who made the change. You know, she says as a shooter. So if you're changing like your wife or a coworker or somebody else that you shared it with, a friend or whatever, it says who made the change. Um, so pretty cool. Same thing with Excel. I mean, if you understand Excel, just use Excel. Like I said, it's not as fully featured as Office 365 that you download onto your computer or 2016, but for free, it's pretty sweet. Um, it's nice that they give us a free Office. And you can do the same things. You can download copy to your computer as well um, pretty sweet so that's kind of how it works um, they have your OneDrive here um, recent photos shared blah 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 I'm trying to think what else I can tell you guys about this um, and if you have them oh yeah so check this out theoretically oh this is a different OneDrive from a different account so it's not going to show those changes but when you are in OneDrive and your account on your computer, it will sync everything up to your computer. So you can upload things in and out just like you would in Dropbox if you're familiar with Dropbox. Um, so that cloud storage is, is pretty handy. And the nice thing about that is if your computer dies or blows up, your hard drive goes bad, guess what? That data is still out in the cloud. You can pull out, get your new computer, plug it in, download OneDrive onto your new computer, sync everything right back up. So it's very secure for your data. Um, so that's kind of it. So you got your calendar, people, of course, that's like your contacts and whatnot. So that's kind of how it works. Um, I hope this tutorial was uh, useful for you. As I said, it's just a quick rundown. I'm not going in how to use Office or anything. It's just showing you how to use um, um, this product that they have available here.
um, so it takes some time to learn it and get used to it. It's pretty awesome. The Google has the Google Apps, which is very, very similar. I use it as well. Um, but uh, yeah, whatever you prefer. But yeah, it's pretty sweet. If you guys have questions, just shoot me a comment down below. And <laughs>